hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you love our vlogs um if this is your first time on this channel please do not forget to subscribe thank you so today i want to talk briefly on how to um prevent breast engorgement so i'll briefly say what is breast engorgement so for a, a nursing mother breast engorgement is when your breast is full hard and painful so what can cause breast engorgement if you do not breastfeed often if you do not take out the excess milk from your breast or if you could not for medical reasons or one way or the other could not feed your baby for some days after delivery this can lead to breast engorgement so how do you prevent breast engorgement three ways breastfeed on demand once you see your baby is hungry do breastfeed and after breastfeeding do not leave excess milk in your breast express it out and if you feel pains, do a cold press on your breast to relieve your pain and you can take ibuprofen. Please refer to your doctors for that. I'm not a physician to describe drugs. I'm just saying you can take pain relief to um, um, reduce the pain of breast engorgement. And so that your breast engorgement will not lead to mastitis. What is mastitis? Mastitis is when there's no infection in the breast. Well, as a breastfeeding mother, even when you have mastitis, you can breastfeed. The milk is absolutely safe for your baby. Again, refer to your medical practitioner. But the milk is very safe. I'm talking from experience because when I was pregnant with my when I was nursing my child, sorry, when I was nursing my baby, I had um, breast engorgement and a little mastitis, a lot of pain. And the best way to relieve it is to bring out the milk from your breast, right? So I did that and I was still breastfeeding because the milk is absolutely free. And you would, if it is mastitis, you have to go to the hospital so you'll be prescribed a, an antibiotic safe for a breastfeeding mother that you can take while nursing. And so I was given these antibiotics and the pain relieved, the pain went and uh, with ibuprofen and I became better. But to avoid this, just make sure that you express the milk, um, excess milk immediately after breastfeeding. Oh, another case where some people express breast, um, express breast engorgement is when they are start st trying to stop nursing their baby. Personally, I advise that you do not just stop overnight from um, nursing your baby. I believe it is done gradually. Let's say your baby feed um, eight times in a, in a day, I mean breastfeeding, you can gradually reduce it to six times when you've introduced solid at the age of six months. Well, some people um, introduce solid at the age of four months, but WHO recommends that you exclusively breastfeed your baby for six months. By exclusively, it means without water breast milk strictly alone and of course baby can take medication when it arises so if you want to um wean your baby off breast milk you do it gradually while we see some cases of some people doing it overnight and their breasts are engorged and painful you don't have to go through that painful exercise so you can do it gradually gradually withdraw the baby milk um the breast milk from your child so you can reduce it to six from six to four and from four to three because the way our body works um the breast demand um the breast demand is related to our brain so the more your baby feeds the more your breast milk comes out so when you gradually withdraw of course your breast milk um production will reduce so you gradually withdraw to avoid breast engorgement if after gradually withdrawing and then you eventually see your breast still eventually get uh, engorged it is advised that you do not press out the milk because when you press out the milk you are still trying to tell your brain that you are still needing the milk so you might just massage it and use ibuprofen or pain relief um prescribed by a medical uh, medical practitioner that will be all for today thank you again for stopping by do not forget to subscribe <laughs> do not forget to subscribe please and of course share with that pregnant woman and nothing more than around you they will enjoy it see ya have a lovely week bye